Hi friends, I'm D Vegan. I make a persimmon pudding today. I found uh, that is really um, a, a fruit that has my full attention now. I get them to know them uh, better and better. So this is a ripe persimmon and you can see it is soft here. I can here show you how it is soft. See, and the, the definite sign for its ripeness is in you can take off the top with no problem like this. This is ripe. Otherwise you have some problems to get it off. It can be even riper, but this is ripe enough to get it off easy. And when you then open it, like here, you see it inside it's, it's very um, here's juicy. I, I will cause a mess now probably, carefully. This is, the inside is very ripe here, very soft. Uh, below here is more ripeness, there it's shiny more, this is a little bit lighter, it's not that ripe, but it's also ripe, but here the dark, that is really ripe, almost almost liquid, very nice, and as it turns ripe, more and more ripe, it gets really sweet, almost like honey, but not this biting honey sweetness from the animals, it's um, really sweet, but very gentle, very nice. It's wonderful. I have three of them here. Here, three, uh, all like this, all ripe. And uh, I will blend them. And the funny thing is, if I blend uh, these um, persimmons, they, I would expect they get um, soft and creamy, a gel, gel, uh, maybe um, a smoothie texture. But that's not true. If I blend it, they turn into almost a pudding, very like a mousse, like a firm mousse. So the texture is changing. It's a very healthy fruit because it has a huge amount of fiber. And this fiber, every plant has their own kind of fiber. And these fibers um, have each their own health benefits. Something science has just begun to explore. And um, I guess the fiber is uh, what makes it turn into a firm texture. And um, I cannot blend it together with many different things. Uh, I tried to blend it with dates, for example, once, and it was so firm, and the dates are dry. Yeah. I blend it with the persimmons, it turns into even firmer mass. Yeah. Not nice anymore, too firm. So. I wouldn't put dates in there right now. Maybe if they are really still riper, they are right, right now, right, they are very ripe, but maybe if there are more and more ripeness and I fill the, the container to the brim, maybe I could then uh, put some dates into it, very soft dates, maybe mature dates or so, but, <clears throat> or I have to soak the dates before. I really don't know why to do that because the dates are sweet and I would say persimmons are almost sweeter. <laughs> you have to try it if you haven't done so before. When they are ripe, they are so nice and sweet. And as I said, um, one thing that is so healthy about them is the fiber. It makes them very healthy. Other, the other things, there are so many minerals and vitamins in there. It's even more healthy. So it's a very nice fruit and it's not for, for no reason. <laughs> it's for a good reason that it's spread over the whole globe planet. Uh, came from China, I guess, originally, and then it spread everywhere. And now I always get it um, at certain times in the health food shop, they have it. And then I get a bunch, they are firm, not ripe, but take them home and put them in a bag in a dark place, and then they turn ripe. One after the other, I can pick them, like these, and blend them, for example, or eat them, or a spoon, whatever. And now I put a pear into it, because I think the pear is also turning into uh, something runny. It doesn't, when I um, have a ripe pear and I blend it, it doesn't turn into something firm. And it is full of juice also. It is ripe and, um, some, and the flavor is pretty similar yeah, to persimmon. They have a similar flavor. Very sweet too, not sour at all, as opposed to an apple. There's a lot of sour flavor in there too. The pear instead and, uh, is, is more sweet, very gentle. And it is similar to the persimmon flavor, the honey-like a little bit, honey pear-like. 
So I put one pair in there, one pair only, and I just blend it, see what happens. I want to try pear and persimmon. Let's see. Blender dance. <laughs> texture still firm and runny at the same time it's I will show you in a moment first I taste it I can smell the pear already very nice mm. Mm. the pear is clearly there only one pear and three persimmons and still the flame of the pear is there not strongly but it is there very clearly I show you what it looks like this is the glass where I will serve it to myself today it's my breakfast today. Oh, but it is a very wonderful dessert. You see the texture? This wonderful creaminess. But it's pretty firm. You see? That is my breakfast today. But it is only two ingredients. So I'm missing the third one. Because I like three ingredients. Because three makes a complete new flavor. And it is not easy for my mind to discriminate between the three and just tell what kind of flavor comes from where. How is that flavor composed? Because three, you can make the math, would um, allow for many combinations among the three parts, whereas two ingredients have only two possible um, combinations. Yeah? So that is interesting. Um, you can make the math one times two is two and if you say times three one two three ingredients then you have it six immediately so this kind of math mess show you the options we have so the third ingredient in this case is um passion fruit the passion fruit is um known for its um seeds the seeds inside they are um the, the most important part and a little bit of gel is around the seeds, you see. It's our th three passion fruits. And I will put them on top, just the seeds. And they have a pretty sour flavor, but not unpleasant. It's a very pleasant sour flavor, you see. And I guess it fits perfectly together with the persimmon and the pear. But I will see when I taste it just in a moment. And now I can't wait <laughs> to try it. And if you like, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, by the way. <laughs> and you can also subscribe and leave me on YouTube to have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.